Hello, hello, hello. We continue with our journey into the discography of Pulp. It's the 19th of June, 1992, and separations. See how effortlessly I put that on screen. It was all very clever. It was released. It was actually recorded in 1989. It wasn't released until the 19th of June 1992. But this is where the band, as we know it, becomes a thing. For Jarvis Cocker, Steve uh, uh, Steve McKay is, is on bass now. Candida Doyle, Nick Banks is joined, joined them on drums. And Russell Senior is there on guitar and violin. So this is that core group. We have the final formation of, of the pulp we know and love. Um, and yeah <laughs> oh again like I said like I alluded to in the previous review I don't like this one either um, again we're edging towards we're edging towards you know his and hers and you can hear flashes flashes of that band here but Again, in terms of vocal delivery, and again, the music is—it's a bit tighter. I think the addition, I think the addition of Nick Banks on drums really, really does help. The rhythm section is uh, greatly improved, and you do hear again. I don't, if you're familiar with Pulp, sometimes their songs often use you know, very simplistic, naive riffs. You know. I mean, even like common people, do 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 do, you know, and you hear that kind of riffing coming to the fore. Um, though there's also some weird kind of um, oh, again, dance music, electronica. I don't know. There's some there's some strange uses of of, of synthesizers on here. Uh, which kind of takes you away from what oh, it's again. It's, it's it's a conflicted again. Maybe because maybe it was never meant to be released. Um, it does kind of, again. They are trying to find their style. They are trying to find their way through. And again, they are using um, some of the stylistic devices of the time. Again, around this time, eighty nine, there would have been the the acid house boom and that kind of beat beat infused music and again it's a little bit of that seeping into this album and it's a little bit out of you know it's like really um but again i have a hard time with this because when they hit the big time uh with different class these albums were reissued and uh, reissued as compilations as well i think there's one called countdown uh, so I think I inadvertently bought this in many different forms and I'm still feeling sore about it to this very day <laughs> though it was reissued it was reissued in 2012 with some extra bonus tracks um, like I said there is a um, a compilation called Countdown which covers this and the previous albums you know it's, like, it's a compilation album um, but yeah I uh, I don't like it I don't like it I find again the playing a little bit yeah they're still still finding their way still a bit naive and you just don't have the wit the wit and the vision that, that is coming and again it's 93 when babies became the, the breakout so it's four years down the line. They've got four years of development and refining to get from this point to that point. And I do, th I do find it fascinating. I, again, this is a bit like um, again we we did uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Whereas again, the, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you can see, you can hear what they were going to turn into because you know they're fu you know they're fusing you know funk and rap and rock. You know, to get a little bit of metal as well, you can see where they're going. But with this band, again, I find them very peculiar. I'd love to have been in the studio between, you know, between this 
and his and hers. You know, the writing process. How they got to here from here, you know, got from here to there. Because I still I don't hear it. I mean, yeah, you hear you know Jarvis Cocker's voice and that, and you know some of the instrumentation is you know familiar. I mean, like for example, Separations. It has a, a violin, a violin part by Russell Senior. And that's kind of yeah, it's, it's it's interesting, but I don't know, it just doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't really work. Whereas you know, use violin on common people to great effect. So, like I say, there are elements of it there, but it's I've, I I often describe it as a cake. You know, the ingredients are there, but they're all in the wrong order. You know, so it's a it's an odd one, and I would love to have known how they got from this to his and hers which as an album I think is uh, <laughs> just light years away light years away and again you again if you've gone off and you've explored this it's one of those albums that you should explore at the very end of your pulp journey you should then work back to the first three albums because you know I don't get anything from them I really don't I don't and I, I don't again it's I know a lot of people like them it's one, of those, it's one of those odd moments where I know a lot of people you know, like this stuff, but I it leaves me cold. You know, it's one of those peculiarities, and I'm not sure if it is because you know like I said I spent money on records that I, back in back in '96 or whenever it was '95 '96 and was thoroughly disappointed by these records. I'm still bearing the scars of it, but yeah, it's one of those strange ones that you know it didn't do anything. Again, this didn't. It didn't. It didn't do anything at the time, and rightly so. I can I can understand why it didn't sell because it's it's awful. It's an awful record. <laughs> and again, looking, I, I find it. I always find it amusing because on the wiki, I always go to the Wikipedia page because I don't know anything. But the um, they have the little review scores of professional ratings. They like three, two, th- you know, three and a half uncut, seven out of ten from Vox. And you go, God, what were they listening to? You know, what were they listening to? Because I wouldn't even put it, you know, up there. But yeah, it's a it's a peculiar one. And again, I don't think it shows you them at their best. And again, for a band that reached such acclaim and did so well, you'd never believe it was a hard, torturous journey. Not just for them, but for for us listeners. Those first three albums, I don't find them easy to listen to. And if you do, great. Um, but yeah, what a journey, eh? It's, they're, un- they're unusual in that respect. They're a really unusual band. They took a really long time. You know, because they were formed in like 79, first album in 83. And it took them like 11 years for mainstream success. I mean, that has got to be one of the longest overnight success stories ever. I find that fascinating. Uh, but yeah, Jarvis, I think Jarvis, he refined and refined and refined until he realised, or maybe, I don't know, maybe time caught up with him, I don't know, what the right recipe was. Anyway, thank you for watching. Those few of you that are watching these, spoiled, killing the channel, review by review. Next time, you know what it is, it's the big one. It's the breakthrough. Well, it's the first of the breakthroughs, but it's the one that, brought them to, to my attention and uh, I will enjoy talking about that one because <laughs> I've not enjoyed these last three reviews it's been like opening up a, an old wound and pouring salt into it for me and you think I enjoy doing bad reviews I don't I do not enjoy them I'd rather do happy 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 joy joy positive reviews I really would because they're easy to do this it's like pulling teeth and I feel a little bit of me is depleted you know so there you go thank you for watching I've been talking about Separations originally released 19th of June 1992 from Pulp though it was recorded in 1989 finished in 1990 and uh, yeah this leads us leads us into the next era where the big time beckons thank you for watching there's only one more thing left to say and by now you should know what that is and that is ta-da